Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to use the EPS template guide file in Quark Express 8. Using the template files is highly recommended in order to ensure that your documents pass our file preparation requirements. They include guidelines that help you set your text and images to include the correct bleed and safety area. In this example, I'm going to create a 3.66 by 8.5 flyer by creating a new document to exact size and then placing the template guide file in a separate layer. On the Print Runner website, click on the link for the product you are ordering. On that product page, navigate to the template link and click on it. The link will take you directly to the set of templates for that product. Click on the link for the EPS template under the Illustrator column or right click to download on your desktop. Extract the zipped template file by double clicking or right clicking and opening in an extracting program such as WinZip or Stuff It. With Quark Active, go to the File menu and choose New, then Project. In the New Project prompt, type in a name for the layout. The layout type should be Print. If the finished page size you need is not in the size dropdown, then type the size into the Width and Height fields. By finished size, we mean the final flat or unfolded size after cutting. In the margins section, it's always good to use 1 8 inch or 0.125 in all four fields since the line that is drawn can also represent the safety area margin. Leave column section at 1. Click the OK button and you will see now that you have a new blank document with the black line representing the cut edge. Next, go to the window menu and choose Layers. Click on the plus icon to add a new layer. Double click on the new layer to bring up its properties. Rename the layer to Guides. You can choose to keep the runarounds on or off. Click OK. With the Guides layer selected, click on the Picture Content tool and draw a box that matches the size of the document. Adjust the box to make it extend past the trim by going to the measurement palette and typing in a size that's 1 8 inch greater to both the width and the height. then center the box over the layout. Go to the file menu and choose import. Navigate to the template and click open. You will see that the red line in a template places almost exactly over the black cut line in the cork file. Go to the Layers palette, lock the Guides layer, and select the default layer for you to start designing your layout on. Before you start designing, 
it may be easier for you to pull cork guides in from the ruler to place over the top of the placed template lines. Just make sure to read and understand the information on the placed template and why it's important to follow. When you've dragged all your cork guides, you can go to the guide layer and click on the eye symbol to hide the layer or you can delete the layer and then start designing. When you are finished designing the layout, go to the file menu and choose save as to save your cork file. When you are ready to send to your printer, you can choose the traditional way of collect for output or you can choose the more reliable way of export to PDF. Please see the next video clip of how to export to a print ready PDF for instructions on how to do that. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative, and if you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.